All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Valhelzia 3 with your buddy Super Turtle here. And guys, we got ourselves some green rain, you know, because uh, acid rain is a thing. And uh, yeah, uh, it matches me. Anyway, you're not here for any acid rain. It's funny because it splatters blue. Um, we're here today because we're going to be working on some industrial foregoing stuff. Pretty neat, huh? Um, yeah, so we are updated to the latest version of Valhelzia 3. And it comes with some cool things. I guess we got some trapdoors, but we're not going to be worrying about those today. Because today we're going to be making some ways to get some plastic. Um, we need a latex processing unit. Which means we need to get some fluid extractors going. Now, I did uh, not craft the, the golden pressure plates. Okay. I probably shouldn't have crafted that many. Uh, that was a lot of gold. Um, yes. Oh, we need nine. I wanted nine. So, yeah, we're going to be doing some stuff over here today. Now, I wanted to put it here. Um, yeah, this will be our latex processing area. It will make it all look fancy schmancy after we get it all set up. Um, but let's go ahead and just clear out some space here. All right, very cool. So, we're just going to put these guys in a 3 by 3 pattern. Whoa. Oh. That was great. One, two, three. One, two, three. And the reason I did bring it over here is because we're going to need to pump out all of the fluid that gets put into here. As you can see, these guys are, in fact, working properly. Very cool. So let's give these things some latex to go ahead and process. Um, we're probably going to need to go harvest some stuff. Extended mining. Perfect. So let's come over here. I'm a big fan of this. The green rain is really throwing me off. The reason it's doing that is because I'm using OptiForge. Hey guy, hey guy, hey guy, hey guy. That was kind of neat. Somehow a lot of these saplings got uh, disappeared. Anyway, we went ahead and mined up some of that. Uh, now we can sleep and get rid of the green rain. Goodbye, green rain. You won't be missed. Okay, so now we come back on over here, back up to these guys. Um, again, this, this process will be actually quite a bit different. Um, we probably won't have these middle ones, probably have two of these 3x3 three three sections going, just trust me. I might know what I'm doing. Alright, so these should be getting latex. Yep, as you can see, they sure are. We're going to go ahead and run some power to them, so that they run faster. Alright, so we should have... Uh, I did not mean to do that. I mean, it's a really good thing we can't see it, but I still didn't mean to do it. Holy heck, I forgot about that. That's still a thing. Well, I guess we're going around the weird way. Okay. So these all should be getting much power. These actually move quite a bit faster when you go ahead and do it. As you can see, instead of going all the way back up top, it only goes to about here. So these are processing up latex, and the problem about powering them from the back is we also can't get the latex out in a very good way. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to see if we can use some mechanism pipes. Mechanism pipes are slowly becoming some of my favorite pipes available. There's a zombie somewhere. He's an idiot. Don't worry about him. Okay, so I believe, yeah, these are for fluids. Perfect. And I got the configurator. Let's go ahead and get a tank. Actually, I need to be careful. Tank was not good. There are a few things you search in this pack, uh, and after you search them, like GA, when you get to that, for some reason, the pack will just crash. I'm not too sure why, but it happens. So FYI, because your pizza pie will probably go into the sky. I'm going to stop now. All right, so we got all the fluid tank that we need. And then we'll just pump it over into the next one. But, uh, yeah, we've already run into our first snag here, unfortunately. Um, we're going to kill power to the back. Um, I probably should have just done this from the start. Okay, give me a second here. I'm going to fix some things. We're going to make this look a little bit better, actually, because we, we have the money to do that. Not really money, but stuff. Okay, so this is pretty much what we're going to be going for here. We have the power coming up the middle. We have the cables coming out the outside. I'm not going to really worry about... Oh, shoot. I'm not going to really worry about making it too... Oh, shoot. Wait, but I middle-clicked here. Oh, I middle-clicked the wrong thing. Okay, so we need to go back over to fluids. Boop, boop. Bam. It works like a dream. 
So now all these are getting pumped into here. Very neato. All right, so all of them have been switched over to output. Let's see how much we got here. Oh, look at that. We got two buckets already. Very, very cool. Uh, so we'll probably end up moving this over by one, putting it here, um, and then having another setup over here. We might have our, our latex processing system set up there because we do have the room for another three, even one more over. So we could give this like, oh, we could even give this another one. We could even move this over one back. Anyway, the, the point is it is limitless. So now that we have the latex here, we need the latex processing unit. Now we need, uh, we did need to go ahead and get a bucket of latex. So now that that's done, that's pretty neat. And we already have a bucket of water over there. So now we can get two latex processing units working. Because each of these guys are going to be supplied with power. Uh, these are going to look real good, trust me. Okay, let's see here. We should have enough for two of these. One. Am I really out of redstone? Oof. Okay, that's fun. Okay, so the second latex processing unit has been made. Uh, very, very cool. Um, we might actually want to go ahead and make three of these, if you know what I mean. Yeah, let's go ahead and make three. Actually, we're, at, we're gonna go with, with two of these guys. Um, yeah, so we need to go ahead, break this. I need to switch back from vein. Uh, we're gonna put the latex processing units here. We're gonna place this guy here. We're gonna take some power cables and... Okay, so that one's got power. We need to go around the back. Around the outside, around the outside. And I do want this to look nice eventually. We got plenty of power right now because none of the quarries are on, which is okay. Let's go ahead and place this here. Pull that out, boom. Okay, so that's been emptied. Uh, we have the latex getting put into here. And so what we'll actually end up doing is we'll probably switch to where the, the power cable is here and the latex comes in from the top here. So like this one, this side will feed over here and then this side will feed the bottom one. That way we're not running into any issues there. And then we'll probably take the, uh, the guys out of here, put them into a furnace somewhere. And we'll get the farty parted. But we should have enough, like, faces for all that. All right, so the next part of this is we need to go ahead and get some water um, processed into these guys. I did forget about that. Uh, this might make it a little bit more difficult to make it look pretty, but I think we can still manage. Okie dokie. Oh, we're out of clay. Hmm. Okay, so for now, we'll go ahead and just set these bad boys up. These will be pumping water in. There's latex. Now this will start to process. Very, very cool. All right, so that. we're already getting the tiny dry rubber. Now, this isn't the fastest because we do need to add another uh, six to the system here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely going to need to be moved over probably two blocks at least. Um... Yeah, because we want, we want this guy here, not here. Yeah, so these guys will be here. Uh, and we're trying to also think about the block placers. So the block placers are going to have to go here. They're going to put the block over here in front of this guy. It's going to be filled with wood. And then this will just automatically start to process. Um, so it looks like we're going to have to have latex come in the back. Mm, this is going to be tough making this look good. We'll see what we can do. And then, so this this one will be over here. Yeah, I don't wanna break them now because, yeah. Because, yeah. Because uh, if we do that, we'll lose the latex stuff. And I don't wanna do that. So I've got those getting smelted up. Yeah. And so we're running power here. So this is a definite from where the power will be running from. Part here. Uh, I've kind of trapped myself down here, but that's okay. All right, so I have these three guys working here as well. We'll need to go ahead and move those off eventually. After these guys break here, these blocks, uh, I'll go ahead and switch this over. Uh, but if we look here, we do have a decent amount of tiny rubber made up. And if we combine these in, an, in a 3x3, three three, we get 
the rubber pellets. Actually, we need to get one more so we can have a total of four. <laughs> Do the quick math. Quick math. And yeah, so we need a total of 45 at least to get our first machine. Check that out. Actually, we need a lot less. Block placer, plastic. Yes. Actually, is there any way we could double this? Energized smelter. Ah, no, you can't double it. Ah, so it's got to be slow as heck. Those have all been processed. Very cool. Probably just throw one of the energized smelters up here, uh, but just put it at like max settings on the lowest one. So now we can go ahead and make a block placer, but we do need to go ahead and make something else. This is something I've had my eye on for a while here. A dissolution chamber. Um, we're missing the thing up top, huh? Which is just a chest. Okay, the reason we want this is because... Well, yeah. Um, so let's see here. Uses. Does it tell us? It doesn't tell us. But we need these to go ahead and make the upgrades for our systems. This gives us a speed add-on, so we do want to definitely do that. Um, but if we look here, look at we got an infinity saw. We have the other. Uh, we have the infinity drill, uh, which won't, which will mine a three by three if we ever need to do that. The main reason we want is we just wanted to have these upgrades here. Um, there should be like different pedestals. Okay, let's just actually throw this guy down somewhere where there's power. Um, so we should easily have enough power here to run this. Okay, so this is what we want here, fluid. Say we want to do just a plus one. We need 12,000 of that. We don't need any fluid. Let's go ahead and just see if we can craft something. Um, yeah, the iron nuggets. This is very importante. Okay, so we got everything we need. Let's go ahead and see if we can just make the tier five upgrade here. So redstone up here, this and this, and then that. Oh, do we need a fluid in here? Oh, we need some latex in the middle. I think that might have been the issue I was having earlier. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead. Ah, shoot. We'll just put these guys here for now. Okay, we're getting a, a little bit of latex going. How much do we need for this? A uh, whole bucket, okay. So I'm gonna let this process up real quick. It might take just a few minutes, um, but I'm also gonna let these guys process out and so we can go ahead and make more rubber and stuff like that so that we can go ahead and get some more stuff going, which will give us more power, baby. All right, so while I was moving this over here, we got everything set up. Unfortunately, this kind of did a thing. Doesn't look that good, but it is definitely working. These cobblestone, uh, this represents the, um, the, uh, the block placers that we're gonna need. Now, I don't know if we're gonna need to put power into these guys. If we do, we might need to go with a different block, block placer. Uh, because I, I only want to have to put the items in the very back here. So, now that that's been... I mean, this the setup's pretty much done. We have these coming out here. We can go ahead and swap these to look right. Uh, these will go into a chest. I really just did this for looks. Um, I know. It's not like me. Actually, yeah, it is. It's like me a lot. I got to play um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare with my buddy Sakai psychotic butcher just a few minutes ago um if you guys know who he is he is amazing he deserves your follow your 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 subscription because he's a neat guy he's gonna be making videos again since his, his hand is all healed if you guys didn't know he got hurt but anyway uh yeah while we were doing that our range add-on went ahead and worked i'm so happy um how do we get more power into this 
So we can go ahead and make some efficiency upgrades. So I'm going to see about making some of these speed upgrades here. Yes. All right, we're going to make a speed one, speed two. We're going to throw them into the back of those. And we're going to see if it works. All right, so we need some gold gears. So we're going to do a total of six of those. We need some diamond gears. Six of those. We need some sugar cane. Got those. We got the glass, kind of. We need more. More. All right. What did I just get rid of? I don't remember. All right, and then... Yep, yeah, okay, so we do have everything that we need. Let's go ahead here. And we also have that much. Now, do we need... Yeah, we need a thousand... Ugh, per. So, we're going to do the speed upgrades. Yeah, we can only do this one at a time. Shoot. All right, yep, so that is working. We're maintaining the power here. And let's see if these work in the tree fluid extractors here. Ooh, it do. It do, it do, it do. So we're going to go ahead here. We're going to get the other one ready to be made up. Speed two. That's definitely faster. I'm a big fan of that. All right, now I need to go AFK just a little bit more. We should be all right. How are you doing? Yes, we got more. I almost got two stacks of this stuff. Very cool. All right, so while we wait for that to get built up here, we're going to go ahead and get this factory block placer here. Um, yeah, it looks like we can just use some treated wood. Uh, let's go ahead and make a few dispensers here. We'll just make some droppers. All right, and I hope we got enough. We don't. That's okay. We have enough for three of them. We need a metal plate. Whoa, can't spell hammer. Faux hammer. All right. Made a total of five. Let's go ahead, and I actually think we have... No, we don't. Okay, so... Go ahead and just test these bad boys out. All right, so how we got to do this? Let's figure out which side this works from. All right, so if I... Oh. If I place it like this, we put this in here. Okay, so it's that side. We break it, and it's almost instantaneous. Very cool. Okay, so all we need to really do is just do that. Break this up between three. Okay, so now these will automatically place. These look actually pretty decent as well, but these will automatically place these when these get broken. So this has almost been automated. All we need to do here is just have the pipes going here into our system. Uh, but we'll need to do that later on because we do want to go ahead and make a, a tree farm now that we have this set up, which is why we're making this in the first place is to start the automation process of the tree farms. Very cool, huh? I know you'd be loving that. I made a total of 14 of these bad boys. Not half bad, not half bad. Whoa, wait a second. Was there... Yeah, that looked like... an effect was being done. Hmm. Maybe it has to do with some of the mechanism stuff we're doing. Maybe it's like a... Acid, like literally acid rain. Okay, so eventually we'll put a spot here for these guys to go into. We can go ahead and just like route them over here to this wall. Wouldn't be a bad idea just having the, the tiny rubber. We can actually have the processing done on this wall too. Yeah, we'll probably go ahead and do that. So this guy's, these guys will be piped over here. They'll be auto-crafted into the 3x3 and then they will be smelted up into our dry rubber and pumped into our system. Very cool. All right, so did this thing go ahead and finish while we were doing all that? Oh, yes, it did. So speed two. This is the speed of it before. It's about two seconds. It doesn't take it, huh? 
So this definitely makes it faster, no doubt. But we can't put the speed two in here. That's sad. Okay, so it goes into there, but it doesn't go into here. I think we can only put the, the first tier ones in here. Which, if we're being honest, is kind of lame, but it's probably balanced, so unfortunately we'll just have to make do with it. So uh, we'll go ahead and put the speed upgrades into all of these guys so that we're hauling booty. Yeah, all of these guys are going to be getting that. Cool. And all these here are going to be on the outside. I think all we're missing is the string. To d Oh, we have string. What am I thinking? Industrial hemp fiber. Where you be? We have a lot here. I could go down. Look at all this stuff we got here. Yeah, we're just going to leave that for now. Yep, we got the string. Go ahead and make the block placers. We don't have the sticks. All right, so we have the the rest of the factory block placers. Let's go ahead and put those in. Unfortunately, yeah, it's going to show up as that broken texture. That's funny. It was spitting it out. Okay. So do that here as well. Okay. So all of these have been switched over. Hopefully this whole bug goes away where it's like kind of breaking. It has a lot to do with this industrial, uh, these fluid extractors. We might just have to go ahead and put some wood there, let it process up, and then go ahead and just continue on after that. Uh, but yeah, these are automatic over here. I don't have these filled up, but these are, are also automatic. Uh, all we have to do is just run some cable up to the back of these guys. Uh, boom, 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 here, here, come out back, and uh, we will have the the tree farm connected to that as well. Uh, so that will run for a bit, and then we will be good to go. But that is the auto rubber production, guys. It is all done. I thank you all for watching. That is going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Guys, we have some cool stuff on the screen now. Go ahead and check that stuff out. There's a video on the left and on the right. You will love those. I will see you all in the next episode. Click my face to subscribe. You guys are the best. I'll see you next episode. Peace out. Bye-bye.